Hi, welcome to Seymour's World at Think Tech Hawaii. Uh, we are going to have a very special show today, but I do want to thank you for all of your emails and texts that I got about last week's show. Uh, I didn't want to discourage anybody from thinking that they could be positive about life and do everything that they can and want to do. I just want everybody to realize that it is tough and it takes a lot of hard work and determination to be able to move forward with your life. Now, you know, in today's world of rush, 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 and all, everything that's happening, and this Mr. Trump and, and Hillary descending into the abyss of politics, we're all a little fed up. So I wanted to have a fun show today. And I've asked a couple of our musicians from the Make Em Smile program, they're called the Hawaiian Heavyweights, to join us. I wanted them to play for you, to make you smile, to make you laugh. I also added Charmaine Pokey, who is Alan's wife, who's joining us, and she has her own story, the story of why she does what she does for her community. And I think it's important for all of us to know. So I'd like to introduce everybody here at the table with me. Charmaine, welcome to Seymour's World. Alan and Willie, you guys are the Hawaiian heavyweights, and I remember the first time I met you and we coined that phrase together, and I said, that is perfect. Why not? Because you are. And you have been such a blessing to the Make Em Smile program. You've done so much for us. You have played at Rehab Hospital, at Kaiser, at uh, Shriners, all over the place. And I, I, I just feel so fortunate that guys like you volunteer your time to help patients in the hospital. So the first thing I have to say is mahalo. And thank you thank so you. much for doing that. You're welcome. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, we've come to the point where you're not only musicians that make them smile. You have your own gigs, and you guys are doing things all over Honolulu. You even go to the Outer Islands, I understand, uh -huh. to do your gigs. Alan, how did it all start? How did this Hawaiian heavyweights begin? Mm -hmm. Well, it started back about three years ago. Um, right now, there's only two thirds of us. The other one is working. <laughs> so. Um, um, I had a friend call me and asked me to, if I wanted to play in a hospital, and um, that she gave me a number, which was yours, and then I got contact with you, and um, and from there on, you know, we've been we've been doing this for the past three years. You know, um, we started just backyard, you know, just playing music, just because we love music, you know, and um, that's how it began, and then from there, just took it all the way to where it's at today. And Willie, you, you, you were with the group from the beginning, and yep. you have the most winning smile of anybody. <laughs> Everybody says your smile is what really gets those mm -hmm. patients in the hospitals just looking happy again. And you play a very special instrument. You play the harmonica, yep. and you also play, what's the other instrument? Uh, cajon. The cajon. And, and how, where did you learn that? How did you learn how to play that? I learned from my dad. From <laughs> your dad, really? He's the one who came up he with was it. A, he's a musician, too. And did he also play harmonica? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> and, you, and you picked that up? Yeah, after a while. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, I would like very much if you guys could play a song for our audience so that they, they uh, get to feel what it's like to listen to the Hawaiian heavyweights. Please. Yeah, I picked up this song um, from um, the Makas and the Nihau. And um, Israel did this song called um, Kanai Apuni. Talks about the conquerors, conquered of the nation, conquering of the nations. It was something like this. <laughs> Oh, 
guys play in the hospital, there's an amazing transformation that happens to patients. First of all, for those of you who are watching uh, our show from the mainland, uh, the mainland US or Canada or Europe or Asia, Hawaiian music has a very, very special feel. And uh, patients seem to gravitate towards it. And you'll see them start rolling a little bit and rocking a little bit because it's so melodic and it makes you feel so good to listen to the music. So you guys are the epitome of what Make Him Smile is all about. And we just, we just love it, absolutely love it. But that's enough focus on you. Let's talk a little <laughs> bit about Charmaine. Charmaine, I've known you for three, four years. You've been to our house. You come with your kids. and you know, everybody from, from the group. And I always knew you as the, the, the strength, the power behind this young guy over here. And I always said, you know, Alan always has a smile on his face, so you must do something right. You are obviously uh, giving him what he needs to feel as, as good as he does. So I, I congratulate you for that. Thank you. I think that's absolutely wonderful. Tell us a little bit about you. What, you're, in the, you're a realtor. We know that. I'm a realtor. I've been in real estate for 30 years. And I, I just have so much compassion for people, for helping people. And that's what I focus my business on. Um, I specialize in Hawaiian homeland, so I, I have a passion for homestead. Um, not only for Hawaiians, of course, but I have a passion for helping them uh, become homeowners and educating them in the process. And you do more than that because you, you also work in your church a lot. Both of you work in your church a lot. What do you do in the church? I'm a deacon at my church, mm -hmm. and I help my husband on the worship leading worship. You, you, awesome. you lead the worship, Alan, yes. in your church? Yeah, lead the That's worship. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Now, as a part of your passion, I can see you're very passionate about uh, your work and your family. Uh -huh. I know that already from the past. You're doing something very special coming up. And I'm going to put it up on the camera if Zuri can talk, show it. There we go. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about this Let's Talk story? Well, I'm having a workshop on, on September 28th. And it's called Let's Talk Story versus a seminar or a workshop. It's a little different. It has, we're going to have refreshments and entertainment and just to educate people on the buying process and what it takes and answer any kind of questions they may have. I like the setting of, of talking story versus me talking to, to the audience, just answering their questions. And 
um, see, picking their brain on what, what's going on in their head. Could we get a phone number or a website, how to reach you? Uh, my website is homeswithaloha.com. Oh, I like that. Homes, uh, homes, homes, plural. Homes with, with a S, uh -huh. with aloha.com, and mm -hmm. my number is 295-4474. That's 295-4474. Four, four, seven, four. Wonderful, wonderful. Right. So this Let's Talk story is more about helping people than selling homes, yes. obviously. Because they, I get tons of calls, so I thought we could just get, get together and answer all those questions that they have. That's a great idea. Yeah. And we know the area you come from. Obviously, there's a lot of Hawaiians who live there. Are you all Hawaiians? Yes. And what percentage? Um, Do you know? We look, Alan looks a lot more than he actually is, yeah. but... Just, just enough to get in. Just oh, enough just enough to get, to get in. Okay. <laughs> Willie lives on Homestead. Oh, yeah. oh, you live yeah. on Homestead Land. That's fabulous, Willie. So. And you guys are in Kapolei. Yeah, we we mm. all live in Kapolei. You're you're all in Kapolei. Yeah. You know, I haven't had a chance yet to come to one of your jam sessions in the garage, but I really want to do it one day. I really want to come and listen because there's nothing, and you guys know, uh, I'm very busy with what I do in my business, but when it comes to when you guys are playing, you'll find me there more often than any other group that we have at Make Him Smile mm -hmm. because I feel so honored and it's such a pleasure for me to hear your music. So I think it's absolutely terrific. Well, we'll be playing tomorrow at the Cup on the Top at Sam's Club oh. in the morning. Now, which, which Sam's Club? Um, in Pearl City. In Pearl City. Yeah. At what time? At, from 7 to 8. From 7 to 8 in the morning? Yeah. All right, morning. so from 7 to 8, this is on Saturday morning, 7 to 8, on top of Sam's Club in Pearl City. Yeah, oh, in the wow. parking lot, right, in, right before you go into, the, in, into Sam's Club, the parking lot right there, mm. we'll be right in there. Oh, terrific. Yeah. You have the whole group playing? Uh, yeah, we, we uh, we'll, be, we'll yeah. be there tomorrow. That is terrific, yeah. just terrific. So, Charmaine, to get back to you a little bit, um, your, your business, it's 30 years that you've been in the real estate yes. business. Tell me how it's changed. What's happened over the 30 years? Well, um, of course, prices have gone up tremendously and, and rents have gone up tremendously. So a lot of people who are paying rent, you know, they can afford a mortgage. They just need to learn how to do it. You and know? you help them do and, that. And encourage them, that, give them hope that they can. And what is your, your, I mean, everybody has a favorite part of their job, right? Mm -hmm. My favorite part of my job is listening to the music that you guys play. What's the favorite part of your job? Well, you know, God has put a lot of people in my path that really needs help, encouragement, and that's a blessing for me. And I really, that's the best part of my job, is being able to help people move on when there's a death in their family and they no longer, you know, can function well enough to make decisions. It's just sometimes they just need that, help, that extra help to get them going. I find a lot, you know, a lot of people are that way when a spouse passes. You know, I do a lot of foreclosures as well, and mm -hmm. I find that in a lot of foreclosures when the spouse passes and the other remaining spouse, they're stuck. They just don't know how to move forward. And it's just encouraging them, giving them hope, showing them, you know, their options to help them move forward. And that's been really the highlight of my business. I, I look for people that I can help on a regular basis just always out there looking for people that need my help. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. I, I think we all have to do that. Yeah. Uh, most of my commentaries that I have with my shows are all about mm -hmm. helping people. Yeah. And of course, people have to help themselves. There's some people who unfortunately take advantage of the system and they, they stand out like a sore thumb, right? But uh, the issue is if you help yourself a little bit and get assistance from people like you, you can move forward with it, your yes. life. You can climb that step. You can, you can go up and ha own your own home and have a good job and whatever baggage you carry behind you it's all it'll always be there but you don't make it the focus of your life the focus of your life should be looking forward looking through that tunnel to look for the light at the end of the tunnel I think that's very important so um, we're going to have to take a small short break now but then if you guys can get ready uh, I'd like you to sing another song and then we're going to talk a little bit more after this uh, this is uh, Seymour's World. I'm Seymour Kazimersky on Think Tech Hawaii with a wonderful show about Hawaiian music and the Hawaiian community. Hi, my name is Aaron Wills. You are watching ThinkTechHawaii.com. I am the host of the show, Rehabilitation, coming soon. 
You can watch us live at thinktechhawaii.com at 11 a.m. on Tuesdays. I will see you there. Aloha, everyone. I'm Maria Mera, and I'm here to invite you to my bilingual show, Viva Hawaii on ThinkTech Hawaii, every other Monday at 3 p.m. We are here to talk about news, issues, and events local and around the world. Join me. Aloha. Aloha. My name is John Waihe, and I actually had a small part to do with what's happening today. Served, actually, in public office. But if you don't already know that, here's a chance to learn more about what's happening in our state by joining me for Talk Story with John Waihe every other Monday. Thank you, and I look forward to your seeing us in the future. Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on ThinkTech Hawaii. If you watched the last few minutes of our show, you realize how much fun this show is rather than talk about all of the, the terrible stuff that's happening in the world. So I'm going to continue with this because I think it's one of the most important things in our lives that we focus on the positive, that we actually feel good about ourselves and feel good about what we do for other people. So let me introduce our guests. Charmaine Pokey, Alan Pokey, Willie Aki. They are from the Hawaiian heavyweights. This is the power behind that throne over there. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm going to ask you guys to do another song because everybody seems to be getting goosebumps from listening to you. So go ahead. I'd like to do a song from, um, uh, talks about the Nihau shell. And um, if you ever seen a Nihau shell lay, it's very, very beautiful. It has different kind of colors. and. Um, very expensive lay, and um, that's the only place on the, in the world you can get those, sh those shells is over there, Nihau. And this song is called Kaulanao, Nihau. And um, I just learned this song about two days ago. So... <laughs> we will excuse any <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Something I don't know, it's but you, you're amazing. You get your voice up so, and you hold that tone so beautifully. Wow, that is really, really cool. I have a, I have a story to tell our audience because they weren't there, obviously. But um, there was one day where you were playing at Rehab Hospital. As a matter of fact, we have a picture of Rehab. I don't know if we've shown it yet or not, but uh, in that picture, you were playing for a, no, that's the one at uh, Kaiser Hospital? Yeah, that was Kaiser. at Kaiser. That's part of Alan's group, playing for a patient who unfortunately had cancer. That's, that's the rehab right. hospital. So if we can just leave that on for a minute, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the story. You can see Alan is over there with his group in the back, and all these patients are sitting around the dining room table, and they're having their lunch, and there was one patient who had a severe stroke. And he was sitting there, and he couldn't feed himself, and he couldn't do anything. He couldn't move his hands or his arms. Your music started. And when your music started, all of a sudden, his hands started to go to the beat of your music. And he started swaying. And the doctor who was there looked at him, looked at me, and we had a conversation after that says, this is why music is so important because it's a healing process for people and how important it is for what you do for both adults and for what you do for children. So what a blessing it is to be able to do that. Something to help that man get on with his life, you know, and be able to do what he couldn't do before just because of the music that you played. Thank you for, for putting that up. We can see you guys back there. What do you think, Charmaine? That's your husband. Yes. He, he, he. He brings me sometimes to those things. It's, it is such a blessing. Of course, he have me do the hula as well. And that's good. That's good. <laughs> I, 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 I think that's wonderful. It's yeah. all part of the uh, part of Hawaii that, of course, people who, who have lived here a while understand why Hawaii is so special. People on the mainland and in Europe who just see Hawaii Five O, they have no idea that uh, the music of Hawaii is so critical to make sure that Hawaii keeps going for what it really is. We can have all the skyscrapers in the world and all the TV shows, but the Hawaii music, Hawaiian music is still a base. It's the foundation of what Hawaii is all about. And you guys have done a lot for it, mm -hmm. a lot. Willie, tell me a little bit. You don't just play music, I know that. <laughs> what do you do? I work on the waterfront for uh, McCabe, Hamilton, and Randy, uh, Steve Adore. And you find time to come and play for Make Him Smile? This is, this is great. <laughs> is it, is it something that, that you, you, I mean, every time you come, uh, I know you're giving up a, a day of work, and you keep doing it. it, it, it does it continue? Is it, is it something you want to continue? Yeah, when I have time off, I, I always want to come. So um, giving back is great. <laughs> it's wonderful, Willie. Well, absolutely wonderful. And Alan, uh, uh, somebody just asked me in my earphone, how do we get hold of him? Could you give people your phone number? Yeah, 808-292-3684. So 292-3684. That's 808-292-3684. And I understand an album is coming out, or, or what's <laughs> happening with that? No, no. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a, a gospel album down the road, yeah? Wow. And um, we're putting together you know everything to to get it out yeah and uh, that's my that's my number one goal you know well, you did one song on the make him smile album if you remember yeah. uh the make him smile album is uh, something we put together uh thanks to uh, honolulu community college they were on our show and we talked about you know they gave us fifty thousand dollars to record the album and um, your song is the number one hit on that album and we're very, very proud of it because so I think it was, it was fantastic. And if anybody wants to hear it, if they want to contact me or go to makeemsmilehawaii.com, they can listen to the album and you can uh, go to the Hawaiian Heavyweights. It was a magnificent, magnificent song. Just beautiful. Charmaine, um, I, I, I keep uh, thinking that uh, you, I didn't know you did the hula. 
and I would have made you do the hula today if I had known uh, <laughs> that you could do the hula. It's, is it something you do often? It, it's something I do for me. I love to hula, and listening to my husband. You, you, you can't help it. I was doing it, it, and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> the hips want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's my passion. That's something I enjoy for me. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And your kids, you have four children. I have four children. And where are they now? Uh, everyone is here except my, my baby. He's, he lives in Vegas. Oh, no kidding. And we are blessed with seven grandchildren. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I am getting our first grandchild. Uh, Sue and I are very blessed that my son Aaron and his wife Ashley are pregnant and we are having a grandchild on December the 20th Great. will be our first grandchild. What a so, nice Christmas present. Yes, what a very, very nice <laughs> present. Uh, uh, obviously, we always hope for good health, you know, that's the number one thing. And uh, I'm sure we're, we're, we're going to be very happy grandparents, especially Sue because uh, she's really looking forward to it. And I, I, I'm very happy that Aaron and uh, Ashley have moved back to Hawaii. And they're, they're here now, and he's working, and things are good. Great. You know, things are really, really good. Alan, we only have a minute, so we need you to take us out with another song. Yes. Okay. Is that possible? Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Go ahead, you can start, start strumming. Uh, I want to say goodbye to all of you from uh, Honolulu today. This is Seymour's World at Think Tech Hawaii. I will be in Moscow in Russia uh, in, uh, for our next segment. And we hope to do a live segment from Moscow, Russia. Aloha from Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii.